Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. Back here for Bed Talk number 192. And today we're talking about gaps. As you can see in the picture, this leader or perhaps a potential leader is looking at this opening. I'm going to call it the gap. I'm not sure if it's a leadership gap. It's certainly a culture gap. And it comes from a note I saw this week. It just kind of was one of those, what the... So I was looking at someone who had posted a desire for a coach. They were looking for a coach. And this is, quote, what they were looking for. Quote, soon to be graduating and need advice on being aggressive in the workforce. Close quote. Soon to be graduating and needing advice on being aggressive in the workforce. So I wonder, what is that about? I haven't talked to this person. I just wonder, what? do they mean by aggressive? What makes them think they need to be more aggressive? Why do they think that apparently aggressive is important, valuable, a key tool they need in the workplace? I don't know, but it makes me ponder and makes me concerned. We have enough aggressiveness in the workplace. Yes, there is passivist, passive, <laughs> passiveness. There we go. There is certainly too much passiveness in some situations, too much reactiveness, or maybe is the word passivity? I don't know, some word about passive. But I just don't know why someone would think they need to be more aggressive. Now, perhaps there's a more, I guess, um, softer definition of that, but I just can't imagine where companies or teams need to be more aggressive. Now, maybe more taking more risk, more trusting, more intentional about risk and trying new ideas, perhaps, but somehow it makes it feel like, because aggressiveness is really personal, so we're going to unleash our aggressiveness on someone else or some situation. I don't know. It just struck me. I wonder what you think. When you hear that word aggressive, do we need more of that? How would you feel if you got feedback on your you're in review that said, you are extremely aggressive. Uh, I know some friends who've gotten that feedback who didn't like it and really took offense to it. And by the way, this happened to be a woman. So what does that mean, perhaps for her? Why does she feel the need in particular to be more aggressive? I'm sure there's lots of ways to interpret it, but it certainly gave me pause to think about and wanted to share it with you to be pondering Do we need more aggressiveness in the workplace, in our relationships, in our friendships? I don't think so. We may need a lot of things, but aggressiveness is not one of the first 50 that come to mind for me. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you, and by all means, stay connected.